in the packaging. There is an optical power meter. Power charging cable. And the user menu. Press power button to turn on. Short press power button to turn off auto off function. Press power button again to turn on auto off function. Long press power button to turn off. This is optic power meter, optic light source, reference patch cord, patch cord and test. SC adapter for optical light source press wavelength button to select wavelength select 1550 nanometer for example for optical power meter press wavelength button to select the same wavelength 1550 nanometer connect reference patch cord with optical light source and the OPM port of optical power meter. Press reference button to set 0 dB for relative power. Take out SC connector and connect with patch cord and test. Connect the other side of patch cord and test with OPM port. The insertion loss of this connector is 0.23 dB. This is reference patch cord. Reference patch cord. There are two pieces of reference patch cord. Patch cord and test SC adapters. Set the same wavelength of optical light source and optical power meter. Select uh, 1310 nanometer, for example. Connect the reference patch cord with optical light source and the optical power meter. Place reference button to set 0 dB for relative power. Disconnect this connector and connect with patch cord arm test. The total loss of the patch cord arm test is 0 0.05 dB. This is optical power meter. This is ONU. This is FTTH drop cable. OLT at the central office is transmitting optical signal. Place wavelength button to select the wavelength. Select 1490 nanometer because the downstream wavelength of OLT is 1490 nanometer. Insert SC connector into OPM port. The receiving power is about minus 13 dBm. The sensitivity of our NU is minus 27 dBm. The receiving power of minus 13 dBm is much higher than the sensitivity of our ONU. So it's okay for our ONU working. Place wavelengths, reference, and the unit buttons at the same time to enter calibration mode. On the display, it shows CAL. Press reference button to increase 0.05 dB every time. 
check absolute power at the dBm here. Press unit button to decrease 0 0.05 dB every time. Press power button to save the calibration. Press wavelength reference and unit buttons at the same time to enter calibration mode. Press reference and unit buttons to restore factory settings. On the display, it shows FAC. Press power button to save the setting. This is optical light source, optical power meter. A patch cord connects optical light source with OPM port in optical power meter. Long place LED button to turn on frequency identification function. On the display, it shows hertz. Press modulation button to switch the frequency. We can see the frequency is the same. Press LED button to turn off the function. Press light button to turn on wheel On the display, it shows the wavelength of 650 nanometer. It is continuous wave. Press light button again to change it into flashlight. Press light button again to turn off wave Open the battery cover. Take out the spare sleeve with the screwdriver. Screw the adapter tip of VFL in the anti-clockwise direction. And we can change the broken sleeve here. Long place unit button for 3 seconds to turn on RJ45 function. On the display, it shows RJ45. Press unit button to turn off the function. Long place unit button to turn it on. Take off the dust cap at the bottom of the power meter. Take out remote module from the side of optical power meter. Connect Ethernet cable at the bottom. and connect this other side with remote module. The red light flashes from 1 to 0. It means the continuity of this Ethernet cable is good. Press LED button to turn on LED light. Press LED button to turn off LED light.